Okay, so exciting day today. We actually have some new tires going on the S, and by tires I also mean rims. Um, as you remember, we had the black arachnids on this, and I ended up taking those off and moving some of the tires over to the OEM set. It's because when we were out at Tesla Corsa, we didn't want to run staggered set, and we also wanted to have the rims be basically the same between all the cars we were testing with different mod levels. So that's why, but we're back now. So we're gonna throw the staggered set back on, so I actually had to go buy some new tires, everything's kind of out there. Um, so we're gonna switch those onto that. And then the Model S, right there, we are actually putting arachnids on that one from T-Sportline also, but the 19 inch ones. So I've actually got a couple sets of the 21s, but I'm not a huge fan of them, especially here in Colorado. We got potholes, I don't wanna crack a rim. So we'll actually have matching rims on the S and the three now. So the one cool thing though about getting tires changed on the cars is there's actually a company out here in Colorado that my friend Greg turned me on to and he actually has the black performance model three that you guys see in a lot of videos but it's actually called on-site tires and they come to you which is great because I've had some experiences going to different tire shops and you end up having to wait around, you end up having to, it's just not fun. It's not a great experience, especially if I have a separate set of rims at home and I want to tire switch. I gotta load everything up in the car, then I gotta go there. And it's just easier if someone comes to you. So actually you can go online, make an appointment. This is not sponsored by them. It's just a company I use. It's a service I appreciate. So that's why I thought I'd tell you guys about it because a lot of you actually ask how I can switch rims and everything so often and how I do that. I don't have the equipment myself. It's, it's, it's a lot of equipment and I don't know I really need that. But that's the company I use and they have everything literally in their Sprinter van and it just fits out well. They can unmount, dismount, balance, everything in the Sprinter. Install them right here for you. It's, it's perfect. And they can actually bring tires out to you so if I have to buy new ones I can actually just buy it through them which makes it that much easier. I don't have to worry about anything, or you can provide your own tires. So let me know down below, do you guys run the 21 inch arachnids? I, I really like the arachnid look, but I don't like having them in Colorado necessarily. At least not if I have to have like two sets to switch on and off. The S, since I don't really do like racing or anything with this, I like to just run one set year round. So I have the 19 inch arachnids that T-Sportline sells going on this with all season tires so I just don't have to worry about it make it easy with the S this one though we're gonna have to keep multiple sets of tires on um, I need a really lightweight set though I think non staggered because for the track kind of like these but non staggered so what kind of should I get I need to figure that out what do you guys think too I think I need to turn these red the gray is not bad but with what I want I think I need red brake calipers and also a little sneak peek, enjoy the color car while it is this color, that's all I'm saying. Okay, there's the new arachnid. 19 inch form factor though, so we have a lot more tire, should be a much smoother ride than the 21s and I don't have to really worry about potholes or anything like that, I can use these year round. Okay, so Model S is all done. Now working on the Model 3, but I screwed up. A little bit, just a little, just a little bit. I, I lowered it so we could put different springs on it, and now this, up under there, no longer fits. So luckily, they have hockey puck. So we're gonna go hockey puck method. Might not be ideal, but it'll work. Just unfortunately, I, I dropped it too much for this. So keep that in mind if you're gonna drop it, you might not be able to use your jack pads, which is kind of a bummer, I really like these things. Okay, so they are leaving, it's kind of bright, but we went ahead and got everything uh, done up with Model S. Those look so much better. So I did actually have the T Sportline ones anyway, but I just like, like the open design of these, the arachnid look. 
huge fan of that. So super happy to have some new wheels on the S. And then coming over to Model 3, we have the stack of these, which I still need a non-staggered or square set for the track use. Now, for around town and drag racing, stuff like that, the staggered that's now on here is actually better. And you can even use staggered at the track, but per Randy, square's a little better. There's David. I haven't seen the tires yet, so I am bringing the car outside to uh, check it out. Okay, so David is summoning the car out so he can check out the new rims okay but yeah so like the color could be changing soon i'm just saying comment down below what you think it might be changing too you never know you could be right because yeah, we got a few holes in the wrap this one's been around a while heat chip and that one I don't know what yeah. but like the colorado weather is really kind of beat yeah, up the wrap up here stuff, like you can see right there There's a bunch of right here the uh, you got a big one right here something came up and hit it but yeah there's a bunch of little like white poking through so um interesting things coming with that one but i love the new rims those look pretty sweet and now on to model three so yeah we need a square set these are still pretty heavy though so i'll probably end up selling these rims and getting a square set of some really lightweight rims there's a lot of good options out there though so i haven't made a decision yet i need to do some more research still so I'm not sure, but we need to get a lightweight square set up for track use. But yeah, super excited to get these back on the car. Super excited to get new rims on the Model S. If you guys are looking to get any rims or anything from T-Sport line, you can actually use the link down below and get $50 off any order of $500 or more. So feel free to use that if you are interested in any arachnids yourself. But yeah, that's basically it for this one. Just quick video of the new matching shoes for S and 3. Still haven't decided on rims on X. So, I don't know. If you guys have any really good suggestions for rims for the X, definitely list them down below. And uh, yeah, we need to figure that out probably sooner than later because but yeah, that's basically it for this one. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model S, X, or Model 3 like this one, definitely check out their website. Everything is linked down below and using code Tesla Inventory at checkout will actually get you 15% off your first order. But that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.